Hello everyone, I'm Mary Rose Corrigan, Public Health Specialist for the City of Dubuque with the June 11, 2020 COVID-19 update from the Dubuque County Public Health Incident Management Team. Dubuque County added uh, a few cases today. As of June 11th, we have 375 COVID-19 cases. That's a rate of 387 per 100,000 population. No additional deaths were reported, so a total of 21 deaths in Dubuque County remains. 6,551 people have been tested in Dubuque County and about 6% of the cases tested have been positive. Six individuals are currently hospitalized and 216 people or about 57% of Dubuque County positive cases have recovered to date. 1,139 Dubuque County residents have had serology or antibody testing. 65 of those, or 6%, have tested positive for COVID-19 antibodies, which means they may have protection from COVID-19 infection. The state positive serology rate is about 8%. The state added 346 cases since my last report yesterday. As of June 11, 2020, Iowa has a total of 22,897 positive cases. In all, about 1 in 15 Iowans, or just over 208,000 people, have been tested. About 11% of Iowans tested have been positive. Nine additional deaths were reported in the state since yesterday for a total of 639 Iowans. 41% of all Iowa deaths are in the 61 to 80 year old age group, with the highest incidence of death continuing to be in those over 80 years old or 47% of the deaths. Currently, 242 cases are hospitalized in the state, 13,933 or about 61% of Iowans have recovered. So yesterday, Governor Reynolds removed some restrictions on businesses, specifically, starting this Friday, June 12th, the 50% capacity rule has been lifted for businesses and I'll remind you of them again, including restaurants, bars, salons, reception spaces, fitness centers, casinos, theaters, malls, and all other retail places that had, had this restriction. And it also allows senior centers and swimming pools to reopen. Even though all of these venues must continue to follow the Iowa Department of Public Guidance, it doesn't mean the pandemic is over and we can go back to normal, whatever normal is. COVID-19 is not going to disappear, probably in our lifetime and even with a vaccine. Right now, we are still at about a 5% infection rate in the U.S., although it's much higher or lower depending on locations such as New York City versus Montana. Case, cases and deaths are going to continue until an, effect, an effective vaccine is developed, especially in the next 18 months and an effective vaccine may only provide short-term protection. So what should we do? Wearing a cloth mask does not provide 100% protection from someone who is COVID-19 positive or contagious. It provides some protection from you spreading the virus and buys you some extra time during exposure to a positive COVID-19 case. Also, fresh air, which is plentiful this time of year, provides safe, space when combined with physical distancing. This is especially important for aging individuals who are probably experiencing a much higher rate of isolation than normal. Opening up buildings to the outside or moving things outside also helps. Speaking of physical distancing, don't spend a lot of time next to someone or anyone. COVID-19 doesn't just jump from person to person, it's based on the time spent and the dose or the amount of the virus the person you are with is transmitting. If you're under age 65, one of the top risk factors for severe COVID-19 infection is obesity. So, so since this disease is not going away anytime soon, it's a good time to change lifestyle behaviors and drop a few pounds to decrease this risk factor. Epidemiologists are expecting future waves of COVID-19. When will these occur? No one knows for sure. But most previous pandemics throughout history, particularly influenza that mimics COVID-19 in a lot of ways, have repeat waves of increases in cases and deaths. And as the waves progress, they've often increased in severity. 
So I don't mean to be such a Debbie Downer, especially since our cases, hospitalizations, and deaths are decreasing and things are opening up again. But I and the Public Health Incident Management Team for Dubuque County do not want you to let your safety guard down and forget about doing all the preventive measures you've learned and been practicing for the past three months. I'm sure they become habits or part of your normal new normal. We're learning how to live with this virus, which helps us prepare for the future. So keep up the good work. The entire community appreciates it. Thanks for tuning in today. Let's all continue to be safe and practice proper health measures. Be smart. When in doubt, don't go out. And remember, we're all in this together.